Hey, what's up? It is me again, 8-Bit, the notorious Blase Renoise tutor. Um, so I asked people in the last tutorial, my dubstep wobble bass tutorial, what they wanted, and nobody really said anything. But one guy said, hey, how do you make a beat? So at the end of the day, if you want to make dubstep, you know, I recommend just going to iTunes first. Go to the dubstep radio station. Da, da, da. So let's get a tempo match. So I'll go to the tempo tap over here. And I'll go boom, 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 boom. Okay, see that says 71? It's not going to work, so let's double time the tap. One, two, three, four, one, two. Good. Okay. Okay. okay, so let's talk a little bit about my setup here. Um, this is how you add multiple tracks to the subtracks, basically, to each track. So you could have more than one sample playing. I just press the plus and I'll add more subtracks to it. But I don't really need that many. This was when I was just, this is just my setup. I like to have a, a diversity of different um, settings on each track uh, based on whatever instrument I'm going to use. So in the case of my sample that I've chosen, um, I've got basically everything that's in your Renoise directory. So you got the chip square, which is... Or... And that is in chip sounds, obviously. That's in... That's the square. And I've got the 909 kit. Which is a whole kit. 909 kit. And I'm sure you're going to say, oh, we could use a VST plugin, but this is good enough for what we're doing today. And since it's dubstep, I went into actual reggae and pulled out a Beanie Man sample. No. Which is, Every day I've been going around and telling story. So I'm concerned about this part. Oh, na, 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 na. Because I think I could do some cool stuff with it. So I, I just chopped that one part up for this oh, na, sample. Okay. And then my fourth sample is that bass sound that I made in the previous tutorial. So I know it sounds pretty weird, but when you put it on the actual track okay so you sort of need to go to that first tutorial if you want to learn how to do that and then i got the dubstep snare which is so all right let's start off with just laying down the the, the kick okay so let's come in on the one so i press escape to get my editing up and as you can see there's my one kick leave the metronome on and I'm just gonna put a kick uh, every 30 second tick. So, doesn't sound like much. But if I switch it up a little bit. Right? Hi-hat here. And usually you wanna put a hi-hat on every other tick which is there's a hi-hat so if i go like this i just lay this down real quick okay so now we have so of course i'm going to change this up like i know a snare is going to come in right around there right so i'll put the snare there for now Now, if you know, I'm not necessarily using any mathematics to do this. I'm sort of just, you know, adding things as I go along. I'm building it up. The snare doesn't sound that good because there's no delay on it. But if I go to the track that I made delay on specifically for this, um, and I add that snare. Okay, so I doubled that up. Let me lower the volume a little bit on that. Maybe make it 30. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make it less than that. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna make that 10 and then that 15, so it's, because I'm doubling up an actual snare that has no EQ on it. Okay, here we go. I know it doesn't sound like much, but if you listen to dubstep right now, let's just go back to this. So this is playing right now. Now if I play my thing over it, Get it? Okay, so it works. It works once you have things put on it. Okay, so now it's time to add the real life to this, and that's that Beanie Man sample that I that I have. Certain points I want. Um, I'm going to go here and I'm going to decide like, you know, as I move my mouse around the sample, you could see the hex value of the location on the bottom, right? So you see that's DF, which would play the sample. Nah, 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 nah. Or, or 55 would play the sample. Nah, there, nah, there. Nah, nah. Usually you want to cut in at a point that, you know, you would cut in normally. Um, if I go to that second one, I go nine, which is the code to trigger the sample offset and I type in OB. So now I could check this out. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Oh. You see, so now it just went to that na na. And similarly, um, I continue to do that along the way. So now. Okay, you see what happened there? Right, so now, by the way, you could, you should like get into the habit of previewing where you just edited. So that's control space on the Mac, or it's a hot key that you can make. Na, na, na. Whoa, na, na, na. See, so now I knew exactly what I just did. Whoa, na, na. Let's see, now I want the na na na, the second na na, which I want to start that on the na. na, na, na. This one, I'll just say 64. You'll get used to this. Okay, so we got our little thing, even though it could use some more work. Um, but let's not get too caught up in that. You know, it's going to get filtered out by what's about to come, which is the bass line. Okay, so I'm going to try to match with Beanie Man's note on the bass. This is going to be the wobble bass part. So this is just a, this needs some extra care. So I'm going to be jamming out on it for a while to try to figure out what works and I'm going to lay it down on the fly. Okay. Okay, I spared you my fixing up of this bass line, but basically this is what I settled on. You get the idea. It's like Herman Munster meets a gothic kid for breakfast in France. Um, now this is really comes alive when you put the LFO device on. I had turned it off earlier, so when I turn this on... Um, you'll see it starts going erratic and then I could play with it like I did in my previous tutorial. So you get the wobbly picture. Okay, so now let's just automate that by double clicking frequency in the automation window and I will go just you know what let me I'm feeling I'm feeling chaotic today let me just let me just do it with, let me just do it like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve do 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 okay I'm back I got a text message made a phone call drank some coffee and fix this up a little bit. This is how it sounds. Yeah, 
get the point. It's it sort of goes in line with how he's singing. And the reason I did this, the reason I even chose the sample, the reason I was friggin' born, no, um, is because his vocal line, the Beanie Man vocal line, it sounds like a wobbly tobbly, like the essential nature of Jamaican dub music is echoey and repeating and wobbly so i tried to stick with that oh, nah, 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 nah. because that kind of sounds like wah 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 right you know and i'm trying to evolve so that y'all don't dissolve the shaker um i got a little reverb a little chorus actually that creates a reverb effect on there and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add the shaker on every other tick so let's so i think what i'm gonna do is um since the hi-hat was just a bass anyway i'm just gonna kill the hi-hat i won't kill it it's not good to kill hi-hats these days i'll put it on every other tick so it's like an off set to the shaker so it'll be shake high shake high shake high yeah the issue of the snare in dubstep is it's actually it changes the the rhythm of the song so right now i have one type of rhythm going where it's like doom but like watch if i if i just add some more snares around and then let me build it up on this side so. That's pretty groovy. How about we add some weird sound? See, notice I'm just doing like little things at this point. Like I've basically really built the song. At and I'm just doing that. But I just totally changed the rhythm from when I started by, by making that snare come in at different times. And um, this is how you're going to build the so different parts of the song. So technically, I could have saved that part that I did before, built a block, and made that run for four measures, and then come to this part. But I kind of like where I'm at right now. Um, although I could have used a sub bass to accompany the the wobble bass this is called dirty that sounds like it's the right frequency so Ooh, this is starting to sound grimy so let's see what we got here, buddies. Ooh. Ooh. Go up over there. And then I'll go down an octave to the to the low. To the low E. Let's see what we got here, buddies. sound system in like three seconds oops hello anybody got a dollar you could donate to my paypal account